Hi, in this uh, tutorial I will give an overview of UA Expert OPC UA client. So, uh, UA Expert is an OPC UA client from Unified Automation. Uh, you find the home page of this company here, and here you can download uh, the software, this UA Expert. Uh, just download from this link or just Google it, UA Expert, and then you will find where you can download this software so you can use this software for free and you can use it typically for demo purposes to to test communications with different OPC uh, UA uh, servers from different vendors so here you see the UA expert uh, OPC UA client in action so here in this window you uh, you add servers and connect to OPC UA servers and when you select one of those, you will get the list of available tags for that specific server. And then you can drag one or more tags here into this window in order to see uh, the current state of that specific uh, tag. So here you can see the value, you can see the name of the tags, node IDs, name of the server, uh, timestamp, etc. And you can also double click here in order to change the value for that specific value. So in this uh, tutorial, I will test this UA Expert OPC UA client with uh, with different OPC UA servers. So I will test it with three different OPC UA servers. First, I will test it with a with an OPC UA server made with LabVIEW and the LabVIEW OPC UA toolkit. Then I will test it with a demonstration server called OPC UA Service Simulator from Integration Objects. Uh, you can download it for free and use it for test purpose. And finally, I will test it, test it with an OPC US server made with Python. So first, let's test with the uh, OPC US server uh, made with LabVIEW. So here you see the software needed. So here is the UA expert from Unified Automation. This is the OPC UA uh, client that we are going to test. Here we have. Uh, an OPC UA server made with LabVIEW. So here you see the code for that specific server. And you, in order to create that server, you just need to use um, the OPC uh, UA uh, toolkit in uh, LabVIEW. And with that specific toolkit, you can both create OPC UA servers and you can create OPC UA clients. In addition to the OPC UA server made with LabVIEW, I have also made two test clients with the same uh, OPC UA toolkit in LabVIEW. So here is an OPC UA client that are writing to the server. So you can just specify a value here that are written to the server and another client that are reading the same value from the server. So then let's just start by um, starting the OPC UA server. And here you see the server endpoint, and here you see the specified um, tag that has been created on that uh, server. So only one tag exists on this server, and this, this is the process data dot temperature tag. And then let's just go to the client. And now we are writing the value 24 to the server, and then I can open the client tool here, and then you see, and I change it to 25. Also here you read the same value. So this means now the value 25 has been stored in the OPC UA server. I can just close those client. And now let's go to the UA expert, select servers, add. And then here under advanced, you can specify the endpoint URL, which is uh, here in my LabVIEW server. So I just copy it and paste it inside here. In addition, you can specify a name, so I just name it LabVIEW OPC UA Server. So this, this is the name you can specify for your server, and this is the endpoint URL for this specific server. And then just click OK, and then you see the server pops up here in the list, and then you can right click on it and click Connect in order to connect to that server. And when you are connected to that server, you are able to see the tags that are part of this server. So if I see here, you find the same process data. 
and here you find the temperature time and then I can basically just drag it in here in this window and then you will see the value is 25 for this this specific time specific time and you can see the data type you can see the timestamp the quality node ID etc so now let's double click to change the value to 23 and then I can open this OPC UA client made with LabVIEW I start application and then you see it are it reads the same value so I can also open this OPC UA client that are writing to the same server and then you see the current value is uh, that is written to the server is 25 and then you see it's updated here and here I can change it to 24 and it's updated in the UA expert software and also in older client so this is an example how to use this uh, UA expert uh, OPC UA client from unified automation so now let's uh, test the software with another OPC UA uh, server so this OPC UA server is called OPC UA server uh, simulator and it's a test server that you can use to uh, test and play with the uh, OPC uh, UA in general so here you see the OPC UA server simulator from integration objects uh, the same company has also created an uh, OPC UA client that you can also use to test your OPC applications so here I have the necessary software up and running and here I have the uh, UA expert uh, OPC UA client from unified automation here I have this OPC UA server simulator from integration objects so this is now running and here I also have this uh, an other OPC UA client from integration objects so let's see how these applications are running together so then here you see the server endpoint for this specific server I just copy it and here in the UA expert I go to servers right click add and I go to advanced and here I just copy the endpoint URL and there, here I can specify a name and then I can specify OPC UA server simulator of course here you can use any kind of name here it's just a descriptive name that you can use to verify which server that you are connected to so then just click uh, OK and now you see you have two server shares in the list the previous one the lab opc us server and this new one opc us server simulator in order to connect to one of those servers i just click on the server i want to connect to and click uh, connect here i have some um, there's some um, certificate problems or issues with uh, with this server because this is just a basic demo server I just click um, accept the server certificate temporary for this se uh, this session so just click con continue and now you see I'm connected to that specific server and here I get a list of available tags for that specific server and here under real-time data you have lots of tags you have tag one two three etc which you can use to test I just choose one of them let's choose tag number seven I just drag it here in this list and then you see the value here and let's also start this other OPC UA client so here I just click connect I spe specify the same uh, endpoint URL here click apply and here's the same issue with this certificate so I just click uh, accept anyway yes then you will find the same uh, tags here real-time data I find the same tag I can right click on it monitor click OK and then it will appear in this list I can change the value to another value so then I just right click write I changed it to 23 and then you see the value is 23 here and it's 23 hours for some reason I was typing minus 23 like this 23 so now the value is 23 
and also here in the UA expert the value has been updated to 23. I can also double click here to change the value to 24 or something. And then you see it's also updated here in this other client as well. So basically uh, this is how you use um, the UA expert uh, OPC UA client to communicate with different types of OPC UA servers. You can also connect to both servers in, uh, at the same time. So let's see how we can do that. So here I have my uh, previous uh, LabVIEW OPC UA server. So I just start that one also. So now I have two OPC UA servers uh, running. And then I can connect to both. Right click, connect. Now when I click on the OPC UA server simulator, I get the, the tags for that server, when I click on LabVIEW OPC UA server, I get the tag for that server. And then I can drag in multiple items here from different OPC UA servers that I can monitor here in this list. Finally, I want to test uh, with an OPC uh, UA server uh, made with Python. So here you see an um, OPC UA uh, server in Python where I have used the OPC UA Python package or library. So let's see how we can communicate with that specific OPC UA server. So here I have the different applications up and running. Here is the, the Python OPC UA server. Here I have specified the URL. So I just start by copying this on and then start running this OPC UA server in Python. And we see here in the bottom, now the server is up and running and the current value is zero. So then let's go to this uh, UA expert in order to communicate and connect to that server. So then here under servers, I just right click, add, go to advanced, select this in point URL. And then here in the name, configuration name, I can specify name I can just call it Python OPC UA server like this and then click just OK and then it pops up here in the list I have a spelling mistake I can just change it you see UA server click OK and now I can right click on it connect and then here I will find the tags that are in that specific OPC UA server and for this specific OPC UA server, there exists a tag called temperature in a folder called sensors. So then you find the sensors here and then the temperature. And then basically I just drag it in here. Um, the default uh, value here is zero. And then I can just change it to another value. So double click, change it to 23. And then here on the server, you see the value has been updated to 23. I can also connect to the same server from this other software, this OPC UA client from integration objects. And then I just click um, connect. Here in the endpoint, I specify the name of the server, click just apply. And then the same tag will appear here. And I can just right click, monitor, click OK, and then it will pop up here in the list with the value 23. I can also from here right click, write, and change it to 22, click OK, and then you see the value has been updated here, and on the server, and also here in the OPC UA expert. So let's uh, summarize. So in this tutorial, I've tested the UA expert OPC UA client. I have tested it with three different OPC UA servers. First, a LabVIEW OPC UA server made with LabVIEW OPC UA toolkit. Then, a demo test OPC UA server called OPC UA Server Simulator from Integration Objects. And then finally, I te was testing it with an OPC UA server made with Python and the OPC UA Python package. So that's all. So thank you and goodbye.